think in most circumstances, most people in this country would give up their seat to a pregnant woman. I think in this particular incident, apparently, in the defense of all those politicians, she was stood at the back of the crowd, whether they could actually see she was pregnant, whether she even wanted to sit down. That's the other question. Pregnant women don't always want to sit down. Sometimes, especially if you're in the late stages of pregnancy, it can be quite painful to sit down. And sometimes you want to sort of stand up and stretch your bump. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe. But I also think she was in a very, very intimidating male environment. And sometimes in those settings, you don't want to make it apparent that you're pregnant. You certainly don't want special uh, expect, you know, special circumstances because you're pregnant. So um, I don't know. I think there's a bit more to this. And we all know the House of Commons is massively male dominated, isn't it? But Kate, what do you think? Is it still appropriate in this day and age to for a man or even another woman to offer their seat to a lady who's heavily pregnant? Well, I think that it's absolutely fine to do so, and, and you should do so when it's about, it's a kind of politeness. It's not about gender, is it? It's about, here is somebody who is less able to stand up than you. Of course, you should offer your seat to an older person, to somebody with a walking stick, even to somebody who just seems to be having difficulty, seems tired, whatever. I think definitely offer your seat to somebody who needs it more than you. And in this situation, it's pretty obvious that, that Joe Swinson does need a seat more than them. But at the same time, I think, I think you offer it, and, and the thing is not to be offended if someone says, I'm all right, actually.